TGIF, my dudes. It is Friday. It's the weekend. Party time. Yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. Welcome back, Level M Diecast. We got a new setup today. Trying something different. Okay. Trying to mix it up, see what you guys like. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the audio. Got some new audio going. Uh, trying something a little different on the studio side. So uh, we'll see how this rolls. Today, we're going to be doing a up-to-date, and we're going to be doing this on the 1975 Chevy Stepside. Now, square bodies are hot right now, man. I, man, I don't know what it is, but man, square bodies are, square bodies are hot. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm not a Chevy guy, obviously, so I can't comment on the Chevys, but... Um, you know, I, I like a nice truck. You know, trucks are cool. Uh, this first one we're going to start with. Uh, this casting debuted in 2008. This is the main line. It's in this uh, really cool metal flake green uh, chrome base. Pretty cool. Got the uh, total 70s stripes and stuff going on the side there. Uh, really good. It looks really good with the tri spokes on it. Uh, we did see the disc wheels on it a couple of times. We'll get to those versions. But pretty pretty sweet. Um, also in 2008, we got a recolor. So we got it recolored into purple. Uh, looks real good in the purple. Uh, I know I mentioned the other day. Uh, not the other day. When I did my up-to-date on the 911 GT3 about the Porsche being purple. This is one of those rare opportunities where another purple matchbox shows up. But we will get to another purple step side later in the video. They did make it purple again. Okay. Um, this one also chrome base. It's more of a, a little bit of a darker chrome. Uh, still pretty cool though. Um, now 2008, we were still doing the uh, exclusives first editions pack. So this was the... First edition's exclusive pack in this uh, mustard yellow and this die-cast salvage livery on the side. Uh, still pretty cool. Um, all three debuts got chrome bases. Um, as a matter of fact, um, I believe that this model stayed with chrome bases through most of its life until rather recently in the last few years when unfortunately Matchbox has gotten a little cheaper on some things. Um, and for some reason, Chrome is ultra, ultra expensive. I'm not really sure why. Now, uh, 2009 mainline, we're going to move on, uh, came in this orange outdoorsman deco, um, you know, fishing lodge or whatever, Huntsman Fishing Lodge. It's a period appropriate color. I like it. I like it. It's really nice. Um, the one thing that I kind of haven't really pointed out much is, the interiors basically were the same relative shade of tan so far, all four of them. So that seemed to be the most popular color. Most of the versions will have that. Um, in 2009, we also got a super fast version. Now, these super fast versions were just the ones like I had mentioned previously. They were in the little clear box. They were not on a card. They were not paid. They sat on a shelf. Um, but... Nonetheless, we got them. Plenty of extra tampos. You can see all that detail on the bed there. It says Chevrolet. Looks really, really, really good. Um, remember this version because they reused this version recently. And we'll get to that too. Just remember this one. Um, this one was really nice because it had the tampo print on the grill in the front. It makes a big difference. I really like it. It's got those disc wheels like I mentioned. It looks good with the disc wheels. There's a little bit too much tampo going on i know it's got that 70s vibe but for me it was just a little bit too much tampo um i mean it's 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 not that big a deal but just 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 a little extra tampo uh 2009 we also got a five pack in this teal color and uh five pack is a service center also still sporting the chrome base uh it's got the tow hitch on it forgot to mention so they were obviously planning on doing some trailers and stuff, at, you know, at one point in time, which is pretty sweet. It's pretty cool. Um, went back to the tri-spokes. 
you know, it's just a it's a pretty clean tempo. It's a pretty clean tempo. Uh, now we're going to move on to uh, 2010. And this is going to be the main line. Uh, this was a pretty sweet version. Um, I really like this version. Uh, it's like this uh, really light bronze metallic flake with a black interior. It's just, it's really cool, man. I, I really like this one. It's got the uh, black and the red decos on the side. It looks real, real good. Matches well. Very, very nice. I really, really like it a lot. Um, 2010 was actually a, a relatively busy year for this casting. So this was the main line. Okay. Now we also got a five pack called Farm Rigs. So there's the five pack Farm Rigs version. Still have the chrome base. Like I'm, man, at this point in time, I would have thought that this thing would stay chrome base forever because really it needed to be chrome base forever. But as we get to these later versions, you will see it is indeed not the case, unfortunately. Uh, in 2010, we also got the awesome, awesome Lesney edition. Now, the Lesney editions, just real quick. Double die cast. Metal base, metal body. Um... You got those nice super fast wheels on it. Man, this just looks like a cool kind of a retro mod. It's got that retro mod style to it with, with the tire lettering on it. Um, really, really cool. I really like this version. This is this is by far, uh, in my opinion, uh, this is the best version they ever made. And not just because it's double die cast, but just because of the look of it and really the wheels and the tire lettering was the coolest part. Now, uh, I'm going to throw up on the screen right now the Handy Manny 5-pack. Now, that version I don't have because, like I said, I don't, I don't collect those style of packs. But this isn't up to date. So if you want every single one, you got to get that one too. All right. Okay. So we're going to move on to 2011 in the most plain deco ever. Uh, just flat out purple. <laughs> There's nothing but purple. Um, you know, I don't have any problems with it. I think it's cool. I love the super fast wheel. I love the super fast wheel. I like that it's purple. It looks good, but it's just, there's just no tampo. And I don't know. And honestly, in my opinion, this is more of a cost reduction in my opinion. Um, cause in 2012, 13 and 14, they were doing some, you know, they were having a rough time, thanks to Hot Wheels. Or I should say thanks to Mattel because of Hot Wheels. Um, and that's the only version that we got in 2011, unfortunately. And then uh, we're going to move on to 2012 Mainline. Uh, this BH Farm Horse Trainers or whatever. Now, they also use this deco on the uh, Volkswagen Transport van as well which was pretty cool. I think that one came in a five pack. If I remember, it may have been a single. I think it was a five pack, um, but it's cool. I, I like that they spread the, de the decos over. Um, again, went back to the Chrome base. Pretty sweet. Always love the Chrome base. Um, always going to make a, a uh, effort to talk about the Chrome base. Um, we got another recolor that year as well, 2012. Um, the recolor was probably far better and definitely more period appropriate in this yellow with uh, black and silver decos on the side. Again, chrome base. Um, I really like these two versions because how different they are. They have different wheels, totally different vibe. Um, the only thing is, is they're almost the same shade of interior. This one's a little bit darker than the previous versions, but I like the fact that they were just so different. They were just so... Uh, polar opposites of each other in terms of kind of what they were. And I, I wish that all the recolors were like that. It's, it's kind of a frustration when they, uh, they just, uh, you know, do the same thing over and over and over. All right. We did not see this model for three years. And in those three years, it also went under a casting change. So if you look here, uh, it was retooled to take away some of the metal, obviously. Um, other than that, 
Um, it doesn't look like there was too much retooled on it. So this is the retooled version. Um, also, yeah, there we go. They also moved the rivet. Or added the rivet, I should say. Which is kind of weird. Uh, anyways, so this is the the retooled version. This is the uh, 2015 five pack. This one um, obviously lost the chrome base. Um, you know, being in a five pack, I thought they could have swung that, but um, it's got the disc hub wheels on it, which is pretty cool because they just got the hubs in the center painted, which always makes a huge, huge difference. Uh, definitely changes up the flavor of it for sure. Um, this was kind of a, in my opinion, this was kind of a odd throw in because there was no, there was 2012 and then nothing until 2015. And then after this model, we didn't see it again until 2018. And in 2018, it showed up in the Walmart exclusive Chevy 100 years set. Um, obviously still no chrome base, but very appropriate brown. Very nice tampos on the side. Very cool looking. Uh, silver and gold. Very, very cool. I definitely like this. This is definitely 70s scream to it for sure. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Um, you know, for as, as popular as this truck was and for as many versions that they had, I just I found it weird that it was missing for essentially a span of six years, technically. Um, but in 2018, we also got this in the main line and there was a big deal made from this. Cause I believe this is from this deco is from the fall guy. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. Quote me on that guys. Quote me on that. Um, either way, the deco is flipping cool. This metal flake blue, it's got that crazy swoosh thing on the side. Um, it's got the tri spokes, but they put the uh, blue chrome trim on the wheel um it's just a very uh very retro modded something and this is realistically i feel like this is something you'd see in the 70s and 80s you know somebody modding up their truck it definitely looks appropriate um it's still pretty cool obviously it's not a licensed deco but it is definitely based on something uh fall guy status of some sort um 2019 we got this in a five pack the uh, MC Construction, which is, I'm pretty sure it just means Matchbox Construction. Um, they use this particular logo on a ton of different construction vehicles. Again, uh, no chrome base. No chrome base. Uh, very, very frustrating. Uh, this model definitely looks cheap. It looks cheap without a chrome base, um, which is very, very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Um... So that was in uh, 20, that was a 2019 in case I didn't mention. Now, 2020, we did see this last year. This was in the Target Retro Series. Now, I told you to remember this one because they redid this. I'll throw this up here in a minute. Um, so this is the 2020 Target Retro Mix Series. Um, it was a rehash of the super fast version. Now, we got the chrome base. Totally cool. We're back to chrome base. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, this is obviously the modified casting versus the original. So even if there were no differences to it whatsoever, it's still a modified casting, still something to collect. However, there are a number of differences, okay? So uh, we're going to slide this one here. We're going to put this other one over here. Okay. Now, for one... The very most obvious right off the bat is the 2020 Target is the uh, gloss black. The original super fast version was a matte black. So right off the bat, bat uh, right off the right off the bat, you see that. The other thing too is the uh, super fast version was a much darker chrome base, still plastic. The Target one was pretty bright. Obviously, they have excuse me, they have the casting change in there. And they have the, you know, the, the bed change and whatnot. Plus, of course, you have the extra tampo print on the super fast version as well. But they still use the same wheels. You know, they still have the same decos. Um, but this, this is what I like. 
when they just release a model exactly the same, because Matchbox has been reusing a lot of old liveries, which I don't have a problem with, as long as there's something different. Now, the majority of the castings they're using that on nowadays, they are retooled, and that is perfectly fine. So you get this case, even if they were exactly the same, it is retooled, so it could still be a new version. I just don't like them to do that kind of stuff if because you know being a long time collector um you you're gonna have the original and it's just kind of frustrating if nothing's different now uh there is one more coming out in 2020 for sure as a matter of fact it's already popped up um the trucks series it's shown up in australia there's a holding Ute in it and the hard bodies in it and uh the Subaru truck and stuff. Now, they reused this livery on that new set. Now, uh, I don't know the details of the model itself. However, the truck series version of this has a gray base. So right off the bat, it is definitely different. It is definitely worth picking up. Um, furthermore, it is also the modified casting. So the casting is going to be different. So in case anybody is preemptively looking at that and say, hey, I already have that version. I shouldn't get a new version. I assure you that version is different. You should definitely pick it up. Those have not landed here in the U.S., at least not to my knowledge yet. So I don't have one yet. But when they do land, I will do a comparison. Um, I'll try to group those in with the retro series of Target if they ever decide to restock again. I'm um, still looking for the newest wave. But uh, there you go. That is the 1975 Chevy Stepside. Little bit different setup, little bit different, totally different audio, actually. Hopefully, this works for you guys. Hopefully, you guys like this. Hopefully, this is better for you. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. Um, like I said, I'm working on getting my, my videos better. I'm working on doing something better. Always trying to improve. And uh, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Let's enjoy Friday. I'm going to enjoy my Friday. Uh, I'm in Colorado, so we're supposed to get uh, a little over two feet of snow in the next two days. So, uh, I'm going to try to get some videos going. I'm going to do some organization and uh, expect to uh, be entertained. So we'll catch you on the next video. Level M Dadcast. Later.